my good people what's going on what's going on it's the man to man pod and i'm ab got my co-host db yes sir man we out the win las vegas sin city the blue wire studios man and we have none other Stefan Diggs, two-time Pro Bowler. What's going on, my guy? What's up, there, guys? I uh, appreciate y'all having me on for the second time. Yes, you know, sir, it's a blessing time. to be yeah. on this show, man. So I appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, it, it's love. You know, I was in the studio yesterday waiting on my guy. Um, <laughs> you know, I got to give you a hard time. Waiting on my guy, you know. You know, we out here in Vegas having a good time. I'm sitting here for like two hours, <laughs> three hours, three hours. I was in really nah, four. Nah, I was out here four hours. Nah, four hours. Nah, AB. I was out here four hours That's waiting on my guy, man. You know, I, mean, I, I kind of learned from you know my OGs. You know, <laughs> things be happening sometimes. Nah, nah, nah respect, respect. Nah. Just, but again, man, we appreciate you for coming, coming in, stopping in. I know you got a lot on your plate. Second time, like we said, man. But um, let's talk about it. You know, why you here? You know, um, yeah. Vegas Pro Bowl. Um, what does that mean to you? It's a long time coming, uh, especially. You know, my early stages in, in the league uh, felt like a couple of times I really wanted to go to the Pro Bowl, but that NFC was so tough. You know, they got some, they got the hell of it. All the receivers usually be in the NFC. Yeah. That's what they say, at least. But uh, it just, it's a blessing. And at this point in my career, um, I only, I only have that for me, but I can share with my little brothers coming off a monster yeah. year. Yeah. So I feel like timing is everything. You know, uh, it happened when it was supposed to, and and the way it happened. And here, here we are now. And you know, I'm I'm at the Pro Bowl with my actual family, my blood, my little brother. So that's love. God works in mysterious ways. It was it was damn sure worth the wait. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Man, that's 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 incredible. Talk a little bit more about that, man. Like, what's that? Because I know I grew up. My brothers, we all played mm -hmm. ball. This is something we all dreamed about: yeah. going to the league, going to Pro Bowl, maybe playing against each other in the mm -hmm. Super Bowl. That's something that y'all could do um, down the line. But so, what what has that experience been? Actually, realizing that it's like uh, you'll get chills, kind of thinking about it, just because like I'm. I'm not a fairy tale guy, but this is a fairy tale story. You know yeah, and like I feel like uh, out of people's high school, college, you know, just that little process. Everybody can't go in the league. You know yeah, saying? it's very few people that go in the league. Like right. I mean, and you and if you get in it, you're you're blessed. And for us to have two people in the same household who grew up together, who yeah. ate the same food, who spent all our time together, to go in the NFL was kind of like damn. Like for us, it's just God is real. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. And, just to have that opportunity to make it to the league. And then you have people that make it to the league, and then you have people that are exceptional players. Right. And in my opinion, you know what I'm saying, I, I put in a whole lot of work for me just to be exceptional, you know, mm -hmm. to be accepted as one of the best people in the league, if not mm -hmm. one of the best receivers or the best receiver. You know what I'm saying? I kind of lead that up to everybody else. But then I got my little brother who, after last year, I got traded to Buffalo, you know, it, it, all the bells and whistles, things worked out, da 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 da, -da all smiles. Yeah. And then the next year to watch my little brother, make his second year jump in the league yeah. to one of the best yeah. DBs, yeah. in my opinion, one yeah. of the best yeah. DBs in the league. It's damn sure something that uh, you can't discredit and you got to give the glory to the, to the man above so, because damn. So so expand on that, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, me and D-Buck, we both played DB, right? And mm -hmm. I think your brother finished with 10 picks. 11. 11 picks. Yeah. 11 picks. Mama, so. I got to correct you a little bit. Nah, you should. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, so, so, so. 11 picks and obviously like being being big bro and yeah. i know um just knowing you over the years like you, you you talk about your family and your family dynamic and how close you guys are yeah so being big bro um obviously after you do what you do just checking in and watching watching little bro do what he does mm -hmm. week in and week out yeah. like you said you smiling now so i can already <laughs> know like that don't it, it brings chills it, just, yeah. it brings chills to your body mm -hmm. and um and i in my opinion, from like a from a from a one year span, mm -hmm. that type of jump, yeah, it means something. Yeah, it means a lot. It's different. I it's mean, different. I, I I saw it. Yeah, you uh, see the potential. You know, I, you know, I, you know, I hey, called myself a GM. Look at here, uh, uh, GM. I threw yeah, you my did. Hat to yeah. the defensive coordinator. You ain't see eleven. I did. He didn't. He I did. I'm gonna I'm I'm keep it real with you. I saw eleven. I'm gonna keep it real with you. You supposed to see. I 11. saw him yeah. at Big Bama. He was he, to me. He was he was raw. Yeah. He was an athlete. He's coming in, and it depends on the type of scheme and all that type of mm -hmm. stuff. But and you got them dogs that's rushing the pass. Yes, eleven, yes. bro. Nobody, get, nobody just grabs eleven. Nobody that's, just that's grabs the, eleven. The that's empty. exceptional. You can like, see, a, you can I see, see potential. I'm a fairy tale guy. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he said he's not a fairy tale. He, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. And he's he's a he's an in the moment guy. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just I'm just you know of course you know you can see the raw ability. 
um, him playing receiver, mm -hmm. moving in, moving over to DB. So obviously the the the, the ball skills is there, yeah. but to get eleven picks in a season, I'm just talking about well, that was all regular season. Yeah. yeah, like that's that's unheard of. What's your scout? What's your scout report, a little bro? If you if you going to play uh, matching up on seven, I've known matching up on you. I've known seven for so long. Like I relish in the moment now of just saying that. I've seen him play receiver for so long. So when he switched to DB, you don't just lose the receiver portion. Exactly. Last year, he dropped like four or five picks, you know what I'm saying, in a 16-game season. I was like, if you would have caught those, you would have had seven, eight picks. Right. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's not like 11 was just so far fetched. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it just happened that what he was doing week in and out, just one pick, pick. <laughs> Two picks, one pick. You know what I'm saying? When they, when they come, they come they in bunches. They come in bunches, yeah, right? They come and he, in he bunches. said it all the time. So for me, when I'm watching Seven, like, everybody talk. I, was, I don't know if you can curse on this show. Yeah, you can. Yeah, we yeah, live. Yeah, we live. But I try not to. But uh, it's a lot of bullshit about, like, you know what I'm saying, yards giving up and shit like that. Like, I look at DB as a position as you're, you're playing one of the hardest positions on the field other than quarterback and left tackle. I'm, and glad, you, I'm glad you said it. We had, yeah. we had that conversation yeah. last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. glad, yeah. To be able to change the game and impact the game, you're a difference maker. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And grabbing those picks aren't something that everybody can do. Because you got great DBs in the league that's not grabbing that many picks. Yeah. Another indeed. guy who's grabbing a, who grabbing 10 picks a year is Xavier Howard. Yeah. He's a man-to-man -man coverage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is not easy. People kind of look at being DB as like, yeah, if you do your job, yeah, you got to do your job. But if you're, making, if you're making a difference in the game, yeah. doing your job and being a difference maker, I think my brother did that. And he sat on he. He sat on that. He stood on that and said, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm somebody. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna put it on display." Yeah, yeah. historic man, historic season, uh, obviously, and, I, and I'm right there with you. I don't care how many yards you give up. If I can give Josh Allen, Dak Prescott, Joe Burrow, Matt yeah. Stafford, whoever those extra possessions, that's that's what I want as yeah, a head coach of the teams. Because I mean, you could even if you're a lockdown guy who just shut down one side of the field, you impacted the game a lot more if you could give me a, a couple more possessions. Those are those are. Those are priceless, right? Yeah. TOs, turnovers. Yeah, I mean, you, you, and I know I had a DB, uh, DB coach say, if you could give me seven turnovers a year, you had a good year. And that's picks, forced fumble, mm -hmm. fumble recoveries. His number was seven. <laughs> so just <He's> making this <laughs> 11 picks, not saying like, you know, no, fumble seven, recoveries. Seven is good. Se yeah, seven is yeah. great. That's a great, that's, that's a great, great year. year. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, yeah. seven, seven turnovers. So um, I like to, yeah, I know it's, competitive mm -hmm. in households when you have brothers. Um, so just talk about off season wise, right? So you got one of the top DBs and one of the top receivers. Like, how was that? How do y'all push each other in the off season? I feel like it's been kind of brewing or something that we've been building on since we were young. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you know, you go back and forth with your siblings and damn near everything. Yeah. Like, whether it's video games, whether it's throwing a football in the backyard. Uh, but I feel like it really started turning that corner when I got in the league and he got switched to DB at Alabama. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because like before we was working at receiver, yeah, we'll play around with the one on ones, but then it became real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And he was with one of the, if not the best coach in college football history. Yeah. You know what I'm Especially saying? And Nick DBs who, too, yeah. Who mm -hmm. saw who saw that potential, who saw that potential. Like, yeah, like you can play receiver. Um, but right now, I guess it's so crazy because that I said God's real, because that opportunity was they had five damn near first round receivers. Yeah. I'm not saying my brother wouldn't have been been able to be a first round receiver, but yeah. they have five real first rounders. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That you yeah. can't forget about. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So when Nick say, hey, look, let's just try you on this other yeah. side of the ball, it kind of worked out, you know what I'm saying, in mysterious ways. You know what I'm saying? It just came full circle for him. But me and him was going back and forth as far as like we're one on ones when he first moved back to DB. And I just was like, listen, we're gonna go, we're gonna go every day, we're gonna go as hard as you can. And I ain't I ain't trying to let you win just because if I can prepare you. If I can give you everything I'm giving you now, I can prepare you from this day on, moving forward. Mm -hmm. So by the time you get in the league, it should be easy. Yeah, it shouldn't yeah. be too much that you haven't seen. They you see you, yeah, yeah, you, you, you've seen everything. So, I mean, things get competitive, but I also keep it in a loving, a loving, a loving area and a loving. I always want to love him up because he is my little brother. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm super hard on him just because. How many is the part? Oh, yeah. Five. Five. Yeah, that's the, he the baby for real. So I just can't never treat him like the baby all the yeah. way. I got to dog him out first. I, I told him a long time ago, I said, listen, I'm a dog y'all because that's what they're going to do on the other side of the field. They don't they care about home first. Right. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. But he got he got tough skin. He, he, he can ball, man. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. Now, uh, I got to know with uh, the skills challenge. Oh, man. Yo. <laughs> 
<laughs> Your ass jumped through a table <laughs> in true Bills Mafia fashion. Yeah. Did you table hit him in the back of the head and all that. From McDermott. I was a little concerned. I was a little concerned. Actually. From the agent. Did somebody hit your egg? No, no, no. I got some, I got some, hey, you having a little bit too much fun <laughs> type, type vibe, but uh, they weren't too concerned. I know. I kind of uh, gave them like a little heads up that I, I might be going through a table. Yeah. It's not going to be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they was like, all right, all right, all right. You can tell that they were a little apprehensive, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? They was going to play it cool because yeah. I don't think they was going to say no, but that was one time for the, for the Bills. Mafia, you know that's my people over there. They ride with us, so show them some love. So, outside looking in, um, and just to see what Bills Mafia has done, um, what they did for you know the Josh Allen story. Yeah. Uh, I forgot who. Um, I think it was somebody else. They don't need to White. Tredarius White, Tredarius White, White but then it was somebody else from a, um, another opposing team. Oh, Andy yeah, 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 yeah. It might have been Andy yeah, Dalton. Yeah, getting the playoffs or something like exactly, that. Exactly. Right, right. right. So talk about Bill, Bill's Mafia, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, and cause I'm, I'm trying to think about it. Like when I was playing, I didn't hear a lot about Bill's Mafia. Not mm -hmm. saying that mm -hmm. it, it wasn't a thing, yeah. but now it's like, it's just a, a great so fan base. I think, I, 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 I think <laughs> part of it, you gotta have a good team. You gotta have a good team. <laughs> you, you right, you right. Yeah, yeah, you I'm, right you I ain't right. talking shit or nothing, I'm just yeah. saying, but I think now they just, they they on another platform now because we actually win a game. They yeah. get to kind of display how crazy they are, mm -hmm. how passionate they are. And for us, like it puts us in that it puts us in that realm of a college team, a college fan base on steroids. Cause yeah. you know, it's not it's we the only football team in Buffalo. That's all they got. That's their home. That's everything to them. So to have that fan base standing behind you, win, lose, or draw, they had plenty of losing seasons. Uh I don't I don't know too much of the of the business, yeah. but yeah. they've had enough losing seasons that they appreciate us winning. winning yeah so when we went in they we, when i remember when i first got there uh COVID and all we had went to the playoffs it was thousands of people like when we when we uh, solidified that spot it was thousands of people waiting for us when i got off the plane yeah like, like screaming yeah. loud like we driving i'm i'm riding over people feet on accident like, i'm like <laughs> i'm like damn like what is this and jaws come to me and it's like this shit was like a movie came to me say he's like bro this bill's my i was yeah. like this. i was like yeah I was like, that's the little movie moment. I appreciate that. Yeah. That was cool. And now this is your second year in, in Buffalo, and now the 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 tide is kind of turned. Now it's kind of like y'all are the favorites coming in every year in that division. When obviously for two decades you had it was the Patriots mm -hmm. and everybody else. So what's it like now, kind of having that having that target on your back as a team, and then obviously with you as a receiver. Yeah. 14, you know, we got you you know game records. We talk about game records yeah, on Wednesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. You saw the Chiefs. They yeah. they allocated resources mm -hmm. to stop 14. We're gonna, we, we gonna touch on that a little yeah. bit. Actually. It, make a, it make a lot of sense, especially that first year. First year, sh shit went so good that it's like, damn, is this shit real? Yeah. Yeah, like we won a lot of games. We barely was losing to anybody. And we had COVID, you had no fans, you mm -hmm. had all this shit playing a part and we kind of figured out a way to continue to stack wins. And I don't believe in the myth of uh, timing with a quarterback and all that shit. After that, after that year, I said, listen, if you got somebody that can play at a high level who's serious about what they do and you gotta and you match them up with somebody else that's just like them, yeah, they'll be fine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, y'all still playing football. You know what I'm saying? You still got that football in you and that you ain't a robot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We ain't out here being robots, we out here playing ball. And that was mm -hmm. something that I admire about Josh Allen because you can look at him and tell him, I'm a football player. Like I'm I love this game. I'm gonna lead my troops and I'm right here behind him. Like he shoot, I'm I'm shooting right yeah, behind yeah. him. So it's damn sure something that we had to adjust to this year because we had our ebbs and flows. We took some losses. We yeah. had a set, we were seven and seven at one point and people were like, well, damn, is this team good or not? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And for us, like, damn, yeah, we lost some games, but damn, I feel like we, we still feel like we nice, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. But the tide started turning towards the end of the year. We got on a little bit of a roll and we stacked some wins and we got some consistency and we kind of started making that push. So it kind of like, I guess as a team, you learn more from those losses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When that season was all good, we got an AFC championship, we lost and it was like, damn, like, so slated, like how? Yeah. So when you got those ebbs and flows of just, you know, wins, loses, losses, you know, you we, we learning a lot. We kind of still, you know, every new year is different. Every mm -hmm. team is no, different. Sure. So we were kind of like adjusting to that too. So <clears throat> kind of speak on it, like, you know, D Bubble Soulball game records. Last year, um, you know, it was documented, you know, that last game, you stand out there, you just watching, yeah. you know, you watching the, the confetti yeah. drop, right? This year, um, it's like, okay, we're gonna get over this hump. You yes. know, um, great game, one of the greatest games, probably one of the best games I, I've, I've ever seen, you know. Um, and it was kind of the thing where, you know, great receiver, three catches, right? Yes. Um, 
And you know, you got people on Twitter saying whatever, whatever they saying. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, yo, 14 had a huge impact on this game, right? Yeah. Like, obviously, I think you would wanna you would wanna have a different impact. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And that's just you being a dog, you being yeah. a competitor. But I'm like, just knowing the game, D button knowing the game, it's like, yo, like, the only way that can happen <laughs> is if they got they got two sets of eyes yeah. on 14, three sets of eyes on 14, knowing where 14 is. So, but being a competitor in you, I know that was a a messed up feeling. You know what I'm Listen, saying? I, it, it's something that, shit, I was in such a space of last year, like I even talked about it with the media. I'm like, listen, I'm trying not to live in that, live in that realm of, all right, I want a revenge. Like I want, I want X, Y, Z for myself. Because when you get in the playoffs, it ain't about you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The regular season accolades, Pro Bowl, all that, all that shit, that's some regular season shit. Yeah. Like when you get in the playoffs, it come down to winning. And of course, like as a as a dog, y'all know me. So yeah. like, of course I want a hundred catches. Of course I want to be targeted every play. Of course I want to make that impact. But <clears throat> for that game, um, I I couldn't go to my quarterback and demand the ball. I'm not I'm not gonna do yeah. that. Yeah. He was playing a hell of a game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gabe Davis oh, had playoffs, four touchdowns. Yeah. We was in the playoffs and we scoring 36 points. Yeah. yeah. I don't give a fuck who having the, I don't give a fuck who's scoring, who yeah. getting the credit. Yeah. It's all about who eating because me, I ain't I don't shy away from being confident. Yeah. People know me, they know what I could do. You know what I'm saying? When you have games like that, I had three catches for seven yards. I'm like, shit, yeah, I wish I would have had a lot more. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But having a lot more at the expense of losing, that's selfish. Yeah. yeah. If I say I'm a winner who I like I say I am, mm -hmm. you gonna willing I'm gonna be willing to take the top off and clear it out for for an cut. I'm gonna be willing to get doubled in the red zone so the middle of the field wide yeah, open. Yeah. You got a single safety yeah. or you man to man. That's shit you kinda gotta bite. And I got big enough shoulders to carry the weight of saying, I'll sacrifice for my team That's real. to win. You yeah, see what I'm real. saying? Because I, I mean, at the end of the day, I still feel like shit. I know I'm nice. I know mm -hmm. what I can do. I done, I'm getting open on double teams. I'm, I'm getting open on single coverage. It's not about me and what I can yeah. do personally because person, personally, I feel like I'm the guy. So yeah. I feel like I'm him. So I ain't really pushing that. But as far as for my team to be pushed into another stratosphere of just push, making that Super Bowl push and doing all that, I got to do my part of getting everybody else open. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They, they going to get open on their own. But if I can... Take attract nope. two safeties or do whatever, man. That should help. Part of that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Trust me, for, for two DBs, yeah. it, it helps. I want four touchdowns. Should I want yeah. a million yards? But yeah. shit, that game. Look, this the game plan. If I get some opportunities, cool. If I don't, listen, I'm trying to win. Yeah, yeah and your boy Gabe stepped up too, and I think yeah. it showed a lot of growth from uh, from Josh Allen too, because you can't get in the point where it's like, hey, I got to go to my. my I got to force. Guard. I got to force, force feed him, and mm -hmm. you know, thirteen was eating. He was yeah. killing the one on ones, like you said. Yeah. That, you was backside and they had safety in the corner on you. Yeah. He lined up at three, ran right through the middle. So it's so weird. They playing two here, and I think they're playing six on the other side. Like you know what I'm saying? I get a lot of clout. Like mm -hmm. you know, cover two. Like that shit shut down over there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it ain't too many routes yeah, yeah. running over there. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? But he getting six and he running the nod post, and I'm like, this, <laughs> Jesus. <Yeah. laughs> I, I did not. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm like this shit. Like I would love to get one yeah, of them. Give shit, man. Look, give little bro, let little bro hey, do his thing. He yeah. did his thing, and, and Josh. So Josh obviously took a step last year, yeah. and I think you had a big, a big part to do with that. Yeah. Um, but then this year, especially once it got towards the end, I feel Stand like it. he took he that, that next step, step where it's like when they was playing, yeah, big steps during that yeah. game. I'm like, yo, hey, hey, B, I'm, I think these are top two quarterbacks yeah, hey, yeah, in the league. Like, oh, in the say, league, these are top two hey, right now. Hey, and you know, I, you know, you know, I get caught the moment. Who y'all like? You know, I'm, I'm a Herbert guy. I'm I, love, I love Herbert. Big Justin Herbert. Herbert. I'm, a, I'm a Burrow guy. He a Burrow I respect guy. that. What does y'all got going Josh on? Allen. But I like Josh Allen. I feel like Josh Allen like is Josh. the best. Um, and I, I say he top two right now because of what he can do with his legs. Yeah. And like, he's 6'5", 240. He can get out on the field deep. He's yeah, the one. You don't want to see that. You don't want to see that. He's going to run you over here, jump over yeah, you. Yeah. Wanna, yeah. I'm going to be the Josh Allen advocate right now. Let me show y'all. Look. Why, I, I, why, why, why is he the top quarterback in the league? Listen, let me explain it to you. I love Patrick Mahomes. I think he does everything, Ooh. everything extremely well. Everything. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't have no flaw. But when you look at when you look at my guy, he does everything extremely well. He runs the ball well. Yeah. He can jump over you. He can extend the play. He can shake. Listen. Only thing I can say, like I, don't, I haven't watched Patrick Mahomes in that pocket. And, I ain't never seen him stiff arm no lineman. Like, I ain't never seen him <laughs> shake off a lineman like Big Ben and then 
throw it for 70 or yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? It's no, it's no, it's no, it's no shade. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I still think he's an amazing quarterback, but me standing on the table for my guy right now, he do everything and he does it. Everything super like the to, only, to the way where he, to, he look turned. I mean, it's it's video game time. You gotta carry yeah. his video game. The only the only knock I would have Give against me one. And like I said, towards the end of the year, he kind of changed it. Yeah. But throughout the year, it was some it was some of it. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Sometimes you'll turn, you'll be like, damn, hey, where are you like, going? You know, bro? like what, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. And like, you don't really like for I mean, me, I don't see that with Herbert. Burrow, young, I, I we going back and forth, like, hey, Herbert, Burrow, he Gangster, <laughs> like he he, he yeah, wore me over. Yeah, yeah. Um, but well, I mean, Mahomes, Mahomes had his. He had his. Everybody had. Yeah. He's the best quarterback. You got to yeah. think about it. But you putting pen to paper, Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen, they've been in the league four years now. Two quarterbacks that y'all talking about it, only been in the league two years. Two years, yeah. You ain't gonna say you gonna figure him out in a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, nah, nah, figure it out no, that look, quick. Give me some time look, now. Josh, hey, and the thing about it, he he won everybody in the dome. He oh won. my God! Listen, no, no, no. I said. We had a rain game every year. This is fucking with my numbers. It's so, it's so <laughs> hey, I know. It rained every game at home this year. Hey, look, I I I, I want a dome, right? So I want Josh Allen outside. Put, put us in a dome. Put uh -uh. us in a dome. I, I want I, Josh Allen outside. I want you better. I want him because wanna, he gonna be better than the other guy. I want a dome, man, just because. Don't nobody want to play in negative degree <laughs> trust weather. Me, trust me, I, I understand you. that. 1975 <laughs> playing the elements it's like super tough that's, stuff. That's, that's, weather. that's BS. There's no like football weather. It's yeah. nice outside. You can smell yeah, the grass. Yeah, yeah, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? That's football. Arizona. Weather. I would say more so. Or San Fran. When like I... San Diego. Okay. Like yeah. 70. You know what I'm saying? You can smell the grass. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You might get a little bit of rain here yeah, and there, yeah. but playing in negative degrees and it's one degree outside. It's snowing. <laughs> one one blizzard. Degree. Like that's, that's right. not football weather. I agree. I'm saying the reason I want it, if I'm in Western New York and I got that guy at quarterback, yeah, that's, is that's because it. I know whoever, like with Mac Jones, when they played, <laughs> they have a chance. It's hard. He was over there. It's hard. It's yeah. hard over there. there. It's Josh hard over Allen, there. like he was playing at 70 degrees. So yeah. that that's why I want it. But I, I mean, I, I, I guess it's I guess a, it's one of these right here because you, you're all, you're not an offensively driven team, but you got a good offense. Yeah. And you got a good defense. Like our defense was T first in all the yeah. hella crowded categories this mm -hmm. year. But even the year before, we had a good ass offense. And this year, we had a good offense. He throwing for 300 yards, 400 yards. You understand that the impact that you're, that you're saying. Like if you put him in a dome, yeah, that's nah, it could ugly. It could, it could really do like, yeah. Yeah. talking about video game. It I'm going to be a part of that video it, game. It could, it could really get ugly, but yeah. you know. yeah. we'll see. Man. Hey, let's, let's talk about, um, you know, good hands, your. Uh, Yo, yo, yo. So they just OC. lost their OC. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. all about your former OC. Mm -hmm. Gets hired by the um, Giants. The New York Giants. But then, you know, Ken Dorsey. Yes. Steps in. Like, do you think it will be any fall offs there? Um, how do you think Ken Dorsey will be able to come in and, you know, keep you guys or elevate you guys, with your offense? It's definitely going to be a different situation just because, like, uh, it's weird because our coaching staff, like, uh, you're, they're real interactive. So I even have a relationship with Dorsey, and you know he be with the quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll go around, I'll go pop Dorsey like like he was my coach or yeah. he was receiver coach. So it's like we have that relationship at least to have that foundation of being like not only do I respect him, and, you know what I'm saying, but I trust him because yeah. he, it will be it will be it will be during the week where I'm like Dorsey, hey, put this play in for me. You know what I'm saying? Make this. You know what I'm saying? I like this a lot. You think you could put that in for me? In a day or two, it'll be in, and Dorsey give me a little head, and I'm like, I appreciate you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's kind of like we got some type of foundation where it's though it's trust because I say, look, I'm gonna make you look good. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm gonna do my job. I promise. So I don't think it's gonna be any drop off just because he's been around the game for a long time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He's, you know, he played in Miami. He was a, he was a big deal up in Miami. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We make fun of him for that all the time. So I don't see no I don't see no reason why he would have a drop off because you know he was a part of that offense. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm pretty sure he had plenty of input, you know, yeah. and the things that were taking place and what we were calling. And at the end of the day, he told me he told me before he even knew he had a job, or we was just during the season, he was like, this, listen, your players gotta make plays. You know what I'm saying? We can we can draw up as many plays as mm -hmm. you want, but when you get out there, sometimes you gotta just make a play and you gotta consistently make plays if you wanna be a good offense and a good team. Yeah. So uh, I don't think it'll be any drop off. You know what I'm saying I'm super happy for Coach Dave Ball. That was my guy, man. Uh, it, it was, it was, it was so much my guy that uh, you know I get them guys stuff for Christmas. I do mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's the type of team that we yeah. have or had. 
And I just, uh, I have the utmost appreciation coming in from my old situation and going into a new one when it, when it could have, it could have all went to shits, yeah. Masuda, but it didn't, you know what I'm saying? They rolled with me, they saw some, they saw something in me and I, uh, I tried to answer the bell. What make uh what makes what makes Dayball that guy? Cause he's been coveted for yeah. a couple of years now, and obviously you saw what he he did with Josh Allen. But uh, what makes him what makes him different? Think, that play calling space. It's it's crazy because he has that creative Andy Reid, those guys that kind of like move all the pieces around, and it kind of just look like organized chaos. You yeah. know what I'm saying the guys running open, and you know what I'm saying and it's and it's schematically he he won't he won't take none of the credit, but. Uh, he try, he tries to give us all the credit. Like it's you guys, you guys. I was like, listen, coach, you calling the right shit now. Like yeah, you know, yeah. what I'm saying, I ain't gonna lie, you calling the right shit yeah, now. Shit. He, yeah. he has plays throughout the game that's getting you open in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying, like we keeping some aces tucked. You know, what I'm saying, reneging a little yeah. bit just to be like, all right, when we one time when we got a cut, look, we got some we got shit something. on, we got something for him. You yeah. know, what I'm saying, and like it's just. Even early in the season, I feel like we had a couple of plays that didn't go well, so people mm -hmm. were like bragging on. I'm like, this shit, it's just part of football. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All this shit ain't gonna be touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Like, I just feel like uh, we kind of worked through that through this past year. You you still saw that he he had he he made Dawson Knox have a hell of a year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our tight end, you know what I'm saying? The guy that they wanted to play at a high level, he started playing at a super high level. Yeah. Turn, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Making yeah. all the plays. Yeah. Like, you got all these pieces on the field and you making them all work. Gotta get a man some credit now. Nah, no yeah, there were the Giants, man. Um, Giant, we had him. He got high with the Giants. McDaniel's, Josh McDaniel's, Las Vegas, Ibra Flew South Chicago, Kevin O'Connell, Minnesota, mm -hmm. Doug Peterson uh, down in Jacksonville. So um, those are the hires so far. Um, shaking up, things getting shaken up. It's, it's, it's shaking up. You know, we had obviously the Brian Flores the, the lawsuit. Yeah. So I mean, we, we was talking about before you got here. Um, I, I've never, in the NFL, I never played for a black head coach. Mm -hmm. College, never. One year, my senior year in high school, and A.B. had the completely different yeah. experience. I, yeah. I had all black uh, head coaches through Pee Wee, through high school, Damn. college, obviously. My first six years in the league, all black head coaches. Wow, that's a blessing. Tony Dungy. That's Tony crazy. Dungy, Jim Caldwell. That's appreciated. I think we're on an anniversary with uh, Tony Dungy and Lovey Smith. Lovey Smith, yep. I've been to obviously two black head coaches in the Super Bowl. Yep. We got a Super Bowl coming up next 15, week. Okay. That is appreciated. 15 years. Yeah, 15 years ago. Yep. Yeah, 15 years what ago. What does that feel like? What's that? Having that, uh, I guess, lineage now to look back and say, like, I can nope. probably say that I had black coaches and I had one, not only a successful career, but. Man, you know, I mean, it was. And I, again, you know, me and Debo was talking about it. It was like, it was just, it was something different where uh, coming from where we come from, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of the guys, they don't have those father figures, yeah. right? So when you're able to go out into a, a sport or a game that you love and you have these men that you are basically looking up to and mm -hmm. teach you the game that you love, man, it was kind of like one of them things. Like obviously I had, you know, I had both parents in my, in my, in my household, but just, you know, mm -hmm. your homeboys that you're growing up with and you yeah. kind of see them just going through stuff yeah. and, and like this football thing is that outlet. And then, you know, when you have a coach who's coming down hard on you, but you know it's coming from a place of mm -hmm. endearment, not saying that, you know, a, a white coach can't yeah. do that, but it's just, it's, 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 it's different. Yeah, It's different, you know what I mean? So now as we have this talk about the NFL and, um, you know, not having, we got one black coach, 2022. Um, in, 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 two, in 2022. Yeah. One black coach. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a little off-putting a little bit. It's, it's wild. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's, it's wild like, because you think about it, it's in the locker room, it's 80% black for Americans. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. African Americans. I right? feel like uh, it's a little weird for me to say now, but <laughs> I had, you know, I'm surrounded by black coaches, black players. When I got to high school, it, it was when I first kind of had a culture shock, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Cause I was around predominantly white people. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that kind of prepared me in a way for the real world as well. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Not only just from a football standpoint of just every day, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I wasn't as comfortable as I typically would be around black people. And it's yeah. nothing wrong to say that. Happened you know to me saying? in college. Yeah, yeah. So. You went to HBCU, so it did, it did happen to yeah, you. So, but. Uh, but that's one of the knocks on HBCUs. Mm. Is that, that HBCU doesn't get you ready for the real world? Yeah, I can see that. But, but I, I'm like, I don't but agree. <laughs> I don't agree. Yeah, I don't yeah, agree neither. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's one of the knocks. Is like HBCU doesn't get you ready for the real world, for the corporate world. Yeah. Whereas I'm, I'm like, well, it teaches you who you are. Yes. 
as totally. a black man or woman. So regardless of where you go in this world, you standing strong and you ten mm-hmm. toes down. You show up as and yourself. You show up as myself, and I'm, I'm unapologetically yeah. who yeah. I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's the world you create as well, especially coming from HPCU. I just feel like um, when you say you standing on ten, you standing on ten so strong that you're creating your own lane. You creating yeah. your world, the yeah. world you want to live in, and that corporate world. You can create with your education. You can create with your opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know, because HBCUs are around the world. Yeah. And it's a lot of powerful bl- black women and men in positions of power that can not only put you in a space, but as we can say, put you on. Yeah. You know yeah. At least right. teach you a couple of things. If you wanna if you wanna go corporate or have your own business or do XYZ, I feel like, you know, black people are strong enough to do that. You know what I'm saying it just happened that in this, in this uh in this league now that we have, it's no, it's no way we got one black coach because yeah. there's so many successful men behind the scenes. The guy in Kansas City, um, mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's some, it's some defensive coaches in the league. What's the guy in, in Tampa? Uh, Top Bowl. Top Bowl. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I think he was a head sure, coach. Right, 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 Morris, yeah, right in the Super Bowl. But even, even that, like, just go back, right? Just look at Jim Caldwell. He was ten and six in Detroit Lions. He got fired. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense. Lovey Smith. His last coaching job, I think he had a winning record and mm-hmm. got fired, and yep. he had to step foot back into, like, like why? Yeah. Like why? I think it's just a, it's a, it's, it's a bigger it's a, it's a bigger picture somewhere along that. Like we might not be able to put our finger on it, yeah. but but why? It's I mean, more it, addressing the elephant in the room that's not the elephant in the room. Yeah. You know it's what definitely saying? not the elephant. I in think room. I think when in organizations in total, like you see. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna speak on nobody organization, but you see coaches get fired frequently, and mm-hmm. you kind of feel like some guys get a little bit more leeway or a couple more chances, depending on who where they came from, yeah. who their relationships were with X Y Z. And I kind of like feel like that's kind of like what we talked about as far as like that corporate world. It is a scratch my back, scratch your back kind of situation. Oh, like you yeah, see guys get jobs who you be like, damn, he he he, he got a job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so. I feel like that is the world that we live in, and it's something that we can't address. Yeah. But it is an elephant in the room that's not really an elephant <laughs> yeah, that I mean, we all know. It, it's all there, and it's about relationships. And I, I tell people all the time when this conversation comes up, because obviously the spotlight is on the NFL mm-hmm. or the NBA or whatever leagues. Um, but this is corporate America. 100%. Regardless of what the workforce may look like, a lot of times once you go up that corporate ladder and you get into the C-suite, you get into the executive levels, you get into the men and women that's really calling the shots, it gets wider and wider. So um, the only real answer, in my opinion, to this issue is either, you know, you have diversified ownership mm-hmm. or the money. The sponsorship money comes in and say, hey, NFL, y'all got a diversity issue that y'all need yeah. to address. And, um, you know, our contract's up in 2025. If that issue's not addressed, you're probably going elsewhere. Yeah. And now, you know, we watch the NFL, best players in the world, numbers are through the roof every year, so they don't really have any any reason to change what yeah, they're doing, exactly. you know what I mean? Exactly. So I mean, you put people, I mean, if anybody, like, if, I, if I was on the side of a position of power, you don't you don't want to lose your power. You don't want to ever lose your leverage. So why would I even make, right. it, a, make it an opportunity? <laughs> so to, you have to. Exactly. <laughs> and, <laughs> and what you're also going to so do, you're going to you're gonna hire people the, yeah. that, that look like you. Yeah, that's going to be the on most my part. side. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of how it is now. But that's me and D-Buck yeah. was talking about something over, um, over brunch, man. Um, the Rock, man. Come highlight the man of man pod, man. We the got rock, some. The Rock, man. Yeah, That'd be dope. That'd be dope for y'all. Come highlight. We got some for you, man. On, on, in the, on the zone league, man. That's but awesome. uh, but yeah, that's it. That is dope, man. But let's talk about this Super Bowl. Yeah. And, um, you know, two two outstanding quarterbacks, outstanding offenses, defenses as well. Um, Let's talk about these receiver groups, these pass catchers. Bengals pass catchers. They mob versus exceptional. the Rams, DB, secondary, man. What's, what's your take on that? A pro bowler. Exceptional. All oh, pro, what's your? a lot of exceptional let's, let's go talent. There's a lot of exceptional talent on the field when that Super Bowl play. You got you got Cooper Cup coming off of the, one of the statistical <laughs> biggest years of any receiver. Yeah. Bro. And they didn't do they didn't do it uh, nobody any justice by going to get another pro bowler who's all, who's actually playing at a very high I level yeah. and just got there by Odell and then yeah. you got a young kid who does his job but he is he is playing he's playing extremely well Van Jefferson yep. is doing yep. his job he yeah. came in this was his year to step up and make make a name for himself with Robert Woods getting hurt mm-hmm. yeah. and he did that he answered the call you know what I'm saying so they got. They got they got a three headed horse over there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying and they uh they got a good quarterback. Matthew Stafford's been a good quarterback since the Detroit Lions. He's never had no talent. He's never had too many 
Yeah, yeah, you saw him twice a year in Minnesota. Yeah, and we got spanked a couple times. I'm like, damn, that, that was low-key nice. You know what I'm saying? But then on yeah. the other side, I ain't going to lie, man. I feel like this young this young generation is getting better and better. I don't know yeah. what it was like with you. Maybe I had a couple we years to drop off. We had some dogs, man. When I came, since I've been in the league, it seemed like they're getting better. They, yeah, yeah. they're coming in more ready. A hundred percent. They're coming in more ready. Yeah. And because, even receivers, too. Receivers it used help. to. Jamar Chase every, got his college quarterback. Yeah. Every, everybody's coming. I think nowadays everybody's coming in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because but, you, start, you start to train at a young age. You're ahead so, of the curve. You know you're what I'm saying? Curve. You're ahead of the curve. Like, you know, they got YouTube. Where you, I, my five-year-old son now is you see on YouTube. On. And he, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Got he got feet. Got, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got everybody. You can see. All right, listen. This is what they doing. Hey, Dad, take this buy me I some couple of cones. Exactly. Give me something. I can at least start building a yeah. foundation. So exactly. I just know that Jamar Chase is one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? He got yeah. bar none. Rookie, yeah. rookie of the year? Easy. That was easy. Yeah. Yeah. Easy rookie. That was I mean, easy. He, he, broke, he broke the Cincinnati receiver record in rookie year, and we know who was out in Cincinnati. You know, yeah. Ocho was Ocho. out there. He had some dogs out there, so he broke that record easy. just like he said he would yeah. coming in. A lot I of people standing Jamar on the table Chase. saying, hey, take the lineman, take the lineman, exactly. protect your Listen. quarterback. He took Chase top five in, in his pants. He'll be matched, matched up, up most likely guy. with uh, Jalen. Matched up with his guy, but you okay? Fair. Let's say uh, let's say Jalen follows Jamar Chase, and you got Boyd and your, Higgins. Your very next two guys are not no slouches. <laughs> T. Higgins is playing extremely high. Yeah, he is well. nice. And then you got a number three that in case all right, this blocked up. Let's let's work the middle. Oh my, yeah. it's, it's, Boyd. it's 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 rough. And then you got. You got Mixon that's toting the rock. And and listen, Cincinnati looks, I'm saying when you check all the boxes, they have all the pieces. And then it starts with their quarterback. Joe Burrow, seeing him in a national championship, he didn't break a sweat for real. Like, that whole you year. didn't see him get nervous. You didn't see him get shy. You seen him kind of command the team in this. And it wasn't no surprise that they get back to the Super Bowl with a guy like that. With a guy like that. It shit, it surprised me. It didn't surprise me. Super Bowl, me. second it year, Cincinnati Bengals. Well, I would say maybe the Super Bowl was a little surprising. Yeah, yeah, but shit. nobody but, had them even winning that division. Coming in, everybody was on the, the Browns. Year. But how it happened? You know what I'm saying? The you could have said we were supposed to be in it. We yep. lost with 13 seconds left on the clock. Now, y'all was definitely supposed to be in it, but we ain't going to speak on that. <laughs> 13, 13 seconds? seconds. That, that was. That I'm was, saying, though, if if, if, squib, if was a squib, fifth, we all be squib drunk. Kick. We all be drunk. Squib kick. And play some dead defense. Let's, make some adjustments. Listen, listen, listen. And let's nah, nah, look. We ain't putting that. We ain't putting that. <laughs> <laughs> Great coach. This, this man ain't beat you. Yeah, yeah. Don't say nothing. What, what, what the, the kids do? Yeah, the kids go out there. You they, don't say nothing. Great coach. But, you know, we. And I, I ain't even just on the coach. The players got to be able to adjust in other situations, too. But, you know, that's over with. That's, 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 that's hey, water nah, on the bridge. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the all pros out there. That's all we say. I love that. But, yeah, man. Bengals, Bengals, Rams. You like you like the Rams, obviously. That's the pretty girl. Pickleto? That's the pretty girl. Of course, you are gonna like the pretty girl. I mean, I, it's I, easy I, to like her. I've I've I, I been I've been I've been again I've been mean on Stafford all year. He he because he gonna throw a couple. He might fuck it balls up there. And, so, uh, but that they, they got. I need you to have that there. same criticism that you had for uh, my man, my man. When you say he had a couple Stafford, hey, Stafford led the league in pick six this year. He he been riding with Stafford and Burrow this year. But yeah, if I had to pick one, I'm going to Rams. The defense they got too many guys that they brought. They went all chips yeah, in. They, they got they went and got Vaughn, Odell. Vaughn has been one of the best uh, pass rushers in the playoffs this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Jalen Ramsey, that's one of the best corners in the league. Um, I mean, they just got Aaron Donald. One of the all-time greats in the middle of that defense, and we know the, the weakness for the Bengals is that old line. So you got Let Von Miller and Aaron Donald up front, and that's your weakness. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, I, I'm going to the Rams. at home you, too. You watched, you watched Joe Burrow get sacked ten times. They still won. <laughs> Preach. I was against T Ryan Tannehill. Preach. You, I'm but, saying but, their defensive line is crazy. Crazy. Ryan Tannehill. Wait, okay, we, okay, football. okay. Look, 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 look. Because I know football. You know I like football Girl, too. Boy, let's go. It's 19, 19 to sixteen. The you, Bengals have scored what five touchdowns in the playoffs. You go play KC. Five? You go play KC, whose D line isn't that bad. Bro, it, that bro defensive line play? was rolling at that time. Which one? The, Kansas uh, City. I mean, Chris Jones. Chris, Jones, Chris, like Jones, Chris Jones. But look, bro, bro, look. I'm saying though, he's Joe Burrow. Gotta have you. Gotta give him something. Hey, look, 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 all these guys we talk about. None of those guys are Aaron Donald, 
And Von Miller. They say Aaron Donald's not missing that sack. Von Miller's not missing that sack, and I respect that. Those I'm Von, my dog. Aaron Donald's more than one of the best players in the league for a brick. Uh, but you, what you going just? You going to sit here on the table and count out Joe Burrow? You, not for, I look. It's hard look for me to just count him out like that. But after you see him answer specific, the call all year long, all year. D. Buck got D. Buck going year. with the Rams, well, and yeah, at home too. We can't we can't just yeah. eliminate that. They they're at home. I'm going with the I'm going with the dog. I don't believe that at home shit. Cincinnati Bengals play outside. You put them in a dome, they might be that much better of a good team. Man, I'm going with the dog, man. So you, you got sound two, like you got the, you got two Bengals, guy. Hey, I'm, two, I'm like this. Hey, because I like hey, the pretty girls. I'm, too, I'm, so I'm in I'm in a I'm in a win win situation because you know I've been rocking with Matt Stafford all yeah. year. He been killing he been killing Matt yeah. Stafford, and then Joe Burrow, man, I just like. Right now, he got it. Oh, he he got has it. that it, and that's a capital I, capital T, and it's like three or four exclamation points at the end of it. He has that it. You can't put your finger on what it is. He just has it. And you look at it as you can. Everybody went in with the playoffs saying like, okay, they don't have any experience. They got a bunch of young players. Oh, I, don't, I, yeah, I don't care about yeah, that. Like they hot right now. They hot exactly. right now. Exactly. Their their confidence is that it's it's sky high. And right now, like you said, like you just said, they playing at home. So the Rams is coming in like, yo, we gotta, we gotta win. Rams we, got more pressure on them. They have a way. Stafford more pressure. been in the league forever, and he's just getting some playoff success. Um, they but, almost lost last week won't buy a pick, bro. If, yeah, if the yeah, kick yeah, has yeah, that hard, pick, the game's yeah, over. Yeah. dropped it. I mean, you know, I'm just saying, like, if you look at the paper, okay, good team, good team, and y'all yeah. leaving out Cincinnati's defense like they haven't yeah. been playing well. Yeah, man, great. I mean, they man. they shut out the Chiefs. So don't, like you don't got too many stars on, and you don't got no big. But they, as a they, team, they play. They, they play. They, they ball, shut out man. the Chiefs the whole second half. So I'm, I mean, I ain't counting them out. But yes, y'all. Yeah. Yes, you are. That's what people say. I ain't counting them out. But <laughs> look, I'm counting them out. Play, but this is second Super Bowl. We talked about Stafford. Me and Stafford got drafted. Oh nine. He he been in the league forever. Um, you know, he's finally. He don't believe in him. He's finally he there. I can see it in your he face. Don't. He, he don't. I can see how you say it. Like, he don't. He don't, he don't believe I, I, I can't be that invested in Stafford. I ain't gonna lie. But if don't. I got to pick one out of these two, I'm going Matt Stafford. Okay. In the in the Los Angeles Rams winning the Super Bowl at home. Okay. In a close game, though. It'd be a close game, like a field goal It'd type tight. game. Yeah, tight. It's going to be a tight game. Okay. So what, what, what? Give me a score. Give me a score. I, I got Rams 31, 31 28. Like that. I got um I got the Bengals 34-24. Ooh. What you got, Dicks? I got a high scoring game. I don't yeah. think it's gonna be 30 points on that board. But we in the dome. We, we in the we dome. LA, baby. How many how many points they scored last week? The uh or San Fran. I don't know. That it, that that San Fran defense different though. Different how? That shit different. I mean, uh yeah, this is around the 30s. 30 to 27, 27, 24, some some key defensive stops. I mean, I Look know ahead. football. Burrow, <laughs> Cincinnati, they need to live in the 11, 11 formation. Yeah. 11 personnel. 11 personnel living that all game. Yeah. Paul, spread that thing out. Mm -hmm. Mix it here and there. And pick your poison on the outside. I'm with you. They, pick, right. they play a lot pick of your, Pick zone. your poison. Super Bowl MVP. Who the Super Bowl MVP? Joe Cool. Joe Cool. Joe Cool. Joe Cool will be the MVP, but I feel as though it's going to be either mixing. So, like the year we won the Super Bowl, um, I think, yeah, Peyton got MVP, but Dom Dominic Rhodes went to. He should have um, won. Should've won. I think he ended up going to Disney World. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be something similar like that. I like Cooper Cup. If, if I like Cooper Cup because he will be the he will be the reason that offense gets going, a hundred percent. You've seen him, Dave. You've seen him not even have that many targets in the first quarter, and then him catching a wave. What what coming from another great receiver? Yeah. What makes Cooper Cup that good? Like, cause even last week, the dude had seven catches for one hundred eight yards, two touchdowns on third down alone. Like, I, I don't understand why they don't double him. And I know you got Odell out there as yeah. well, and Vans doing his thing. But this dude has had an offensive player of the year, MVP type year. What what makes, is it the offense? Is it where they put him? Like, what makes him? You got a creative, you got you got one of those young, spicy coaches at yeah. the head with Sean McVay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to love that, especially a young guy. And then you got, like, Cooper Cup was playing well the year before that. Cooper yeah. Cup has already yeah. gotten paid, if I'm not mistaken. 
This was just him so. stamping it, just being like, "All right, I'm, I'm, I'm for real. I'm who I am, I'm and real. I go get you. Got you got me a quarterback. You know yeah. And I feel like what makes him so good is, it's not it, he can run all the routes. He can catch the ball. The, the boy is six two, like two hundred and some pounds. Yeah. Like, no small true. receiver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't a typical slot receiver, so he catching those passes. And he's probably gonna break a tackle. Yeah. So for me, I feel like more so he's understanding coverages. I feel like he spends some time with his quarterback. Oh, throughout the it. week to see, all right, this is what we're doing right here. It's going to be tight right here, but I'm going to do this right here and I'm going to so, make you a little more comfortable. You know, when I, when, when I knew he was, it was a, I think it was a fire zone. He was like, the, the running back was away. So I knew the uh, I knew the linebacker had to go with the running back. Mm-hmm. So I knew I had, coverage, yeah. and, I, and I knew I had the middle of the field open. So just, if you can dissect that and you can be like, oh, they in the fire zone. I know my back is away. So I know how I can work this receiver. And like you say, the quarterback is on the same page. That's playing the Tom Woo. Brady game at receiver. Yeah. Oh, man. So I was, I, we were talking earlier. It might have been with Will. I'm like, you got another quarterback at receiver. You, like, you know where he's going to be, regardless of what the de- – mm-hmm. you can't be right as a defense. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Because especially if you drop it in the zone, yeah. he's going to find a soft find spot. A soft and then spot, yeah. Stafford going – Stafford ain't, ain't, ain't golf. Man. Yes. You know, no knock on golf. But Let's see, though, man. Piece, like, man. I don't know, man. I ain't picking no side. Man, I'm about to go to the win now, man. Well, I'm, we in the win. I'm about to go make my back. Nah. <laughs> right, go ahead, go ahead, Joe Cool. Matches right. Mac. He dropped four and a half million with, uh, for the Bengals to win straight up. Jesus. Woo. I need to get in on that. Man. Woo. Man. Man. So, man, before we let you go, man, you about to go up here and um play some ball, man. Yeah, man. Um, it's a hoop game, like. Man. Yeah. What's, what, what, if you if you had to compare your game, if you had to compare your game, that's what I was about to ask. If you had to compare mean, your compare, game to anybody, I look game. at you like a, a smaller like. <laughs> Um, like a, I, know you like a what? I dare like you a, say some. I dare you say some like. Nah, like a like a Ben Wallace, like a, a real a Ben like Wallace, a, like, a, like you a Ben Wallace, a like lunch pail guy. Lunch pail. You gonna bring your hat? You know what I'm saying? And you gonna you gonna strap up? You gonna play D? You gonna get boards? See um, you like a Ricky Rubio. That's you a, you, Ricky Rubio. I see you like facilitating, not getting too many buckets. A lot of a lot of these right here. Good job. Like way to get a book. Wait, wait to see the back you wait to see the back door. Yeah. Maybe you'll get a back door and one and everybody get excited. Like you Ricky Rubio, yeah, while you sleeping. Ricky Rubio get the Hey what he was getting at I don't know. Yeah. Ben What's Wallace. The, little Ben I can't see that. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you. How I'm not even that big. That's what I'm saying. A little a smaller but you you athletic. You can jump. You get the boards. What you trying to say like like what you mean? Man, like I get you today. I get you. First of all, I can dribble. Simple. Like, so you got handle. I can dribble. You like, got really dribble. I can create a shot. Yes, and I can lay this. Oh, about to say finish, lay this. You can, uh, you can ball I'm game. saying like tough, like right. tough, like a real lay. Right. And I'm and I'm playing inside the circle. Like if I'm open, I'm a hit. But if I'm inside so the circle, so give me I'm give me your shoot. stats today. Give me your stat line today. It depends on how much I'm playing. Who, who get, what game are you playing? It's a friendly charity, but like okay. I'm, saying, I'm not even friendly. <laughs> <laughs> but so you competitive. So you you going. This is this is your mob too, right? Yeah, yeah you, and my little brother's you on my bro- team. You gonna see, you gonna see that so, on display. So, I know you got to drop some buckets. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna go double double something like. Okay, something like. I can't go triple because I ain't playing four quarters. Okay, right. double, you double. got you got a game you got a game tomorrow, so you know. You but I'm gonna just show y'all how I'm really like a four sport athlete. You know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna just go out there. Eh, eh, eh. Four sport football, basketball, track. Could have did a little. Could have little did a little bit of Eight, soccer. Eight hundred. Four hundred. That's a great Because I'm a man, grown man. man. I'm telling you, I'm a grown man. man. That's a grown ass I'm man. I'm trying to tell y'all. I done put the hair on the chest early. I, yeah, that, I can't do that. I, I can't do nothing past 200. Uh, see, no, I see, no. I need Monkey that get on me. your back. Yeah, I know. You got to pick them knees up. Pick them knees up. <laughs> mm, nah, man. Hey, but, hey, back man. get tight. Go ahead, do your thing. I appreciate man. Go, y'all. Set, 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 nah. set the pick. Grab the board. Do your thing. Oh, man. don't be telling me set picks. Yeah, I'm just like saying, you got to set picks for me. Make sure you roll, though, after this. You have to say, screen. make sure you roll. Um, yeah. But nah, we <laughs> we appreciate you stopping by, man. Appreciate y'all. Um, as always, man. Congratulations on a hell of a year. Um, keep doing your thing, brother. Yes, sir, appreciate man. y'all, bro. Um, appreciate y'all. Be, be healthy, he- healthy all season, man. Obviously, stay healthy out there tomorrow. Have fun, and then uh, we see you take that next step next year, man. What's the goal for you and the Buffalo Bills next season, man? Uh, man we gonna, you know, I gotta give you the. We're gonna take it one game at a time, but you know, everybody know, man, we wanna be in that show, man. Yeah. We gotta be in that show. Yeah, I mean, and tomorrow, not tomorrow, but oh yeah, tomorrow, Sunday, y'all, y'all gonna get a little bit of the taste of like, you know what I'm saying? If I really did go play DB, cause like, 
I'm saying, Co- talk to Coach Brave. We said he going. You know I'm saying, oh, and I'm and it's, and it's single high. It ain't no. Look, hey, you know you I got somebody in the post, but I'm really by myself. Life, I'm real. telling you, I'm built for you it. You don't run, want that life. Run, so run, if I get a book, to, if I get run, a book run tomorrow, run four, run four. Y'all that, got that back pedal. It's a, it's a it's, different piece. I'm so icy on the back. It looks, it's smooth. Yeah, yeah it looks it's fluent. <laughs> it it looks fun. Break. You, you, you see, nah, nah, I'm relaxed. What's right, that that, that shit right? looks cool. When you got Russ, when you got Russ back there, quarterback, it's gonna get real <laughs> different. People get to chase him off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I get a pick tomorrow, listen. Yeah, high step, high step. Take what I'm gonna get? Crib. But y'all got something for me? I'll right, give you a shout out. I'll give you a shout out. Definitely got an incentive. All right, same I got. I really appreciate that. The big bros, man. Yeah. All right, man. We out, man. Another another episode of Man to Man Pod. Special episode, two time guest, Fine Diggs, two times pro low, pro bowler. Yeah. Going to do his thing tonight on the hardwood falls. Hey, I'm going to feel, man. <laughs> I'm gone. He's healthy. Hey, I'm gone. He's, 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 he's healthy. Hey, hey, he's hey, healthy. I'm gone, man. <laughs> on the hardwood. <laughs> we out, yeah. man. <laughs>